Cheers. Yeah, that should be good. All right. And then a little bit of pain. Hurt my quad a little bit. So don't mind me if I'm limping. Let's start some cat cow. Everyone had a good weekend. Alright, and then we'll come back, stretch out your calves. Just pushing that heel, alternating back and forth. Get in your hamstring a little bit. All right, then I want you to walk your feet in. And try and go a little wider, trying to touch your hands to the ground with a straight back. So you can always put your hands on your shins or even on your hips. All right, let's try interlocking your fingers. Keeping that wide stance, interlocking behind your back. Move your head side to side. You can add a little forward fold. Alternating, let's go hip opener, twist, alternate back and forth, and twist. A nice straight spine so you're gonna feel a little bit of your quads pull yourself back up reach back keeping core nice and tight back nice and straight go back as far as you feel comfortable squeeze those abs Especially as you come back up. A few more. Let's go one more per side. And good. Let's get onto our back here. All right, in our dead bug position and knees right above your hips let's do some curl ups okay so you're gonna press your spine down to lift your shoulders head off the ground okay, it's a little crunches but we're not rounding at our spine you want to take lift your chest up to the roof initiate there by pressing your back to the ground back to ground then you should feel your shoulders start to rise okay. 
and can flip over. All right, let's find neutral spine. We're gonna reach, squeezing our butt, extending our leg. Really get that arm up and we're gonna hold it. All right, 20 seconds aside. Three, two, tuck hips. Kick back, reach out and hold. Maintain, tuck your hips, reach up your arm as high as you can, squeeze your butt to drive your heel up. Good, come down, relax, tuck hips, other side. And reach that arm up, keep hips tucked, squeeze your butt. And good rest. All right. If you have a uh, small band, grab that. Okay, we're going to put it above our knees. All right, and you can do this. Uh, I'll show you with a larger band. You can do the same idea. We're trying to create resistance. So you can wrap it around your feet, twist. Pull it up because we're doing sidewalks, so you'll see it creates the same resistance. If you got nothing, just do it with nothing. We're gonna still go in a little squat. So, ready? Here we go. Hips back. Little knee bend. Once you take a few steps over, think drive with your knee. So look at my knee staying over top of my toe. I'm not letting my foot lead the way. Alright? Here we go. A few steps over each side alternating back and forth staying low and keeping resistance so see when i bring my feet back in i'm still have resistance on the band not bringing my feet all the way together that's the spicy part about this is keeping resistance on the band dig those heels down into the ground few more here, a few steps each way, and good, all right, find something to hold on to, now we'll, we went side to side, now let's go uh, hip extension, straight back, you can keep it around your knees, or I like to bring around my shins, tuck hips, squeeze butt, Little pulses, ready? Let's go. Butt squeeze. And other side. And rest. Beautiful. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's, let's start here. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, you lose the band. All right. I got a little circuit. So we're going to go every um, minute, first minute, odd minutes, five hollow body punches. So hollow body alternating punch. You can also come up here and punch. All right. And then, so five hollow body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess five per side. So 10 reps total. Okay. Then we're going to go leg raise with a little twist. Lower your heels, little twist. Okay. So that's a little too tough. You know, always just keep your feet up and try and do a little twist of your hips. Okay, focusing on those obliques. Okay, five per side. All right, and then five per side bicycles. Bicycles, not, not good. You can always go twist. All right, so today we're focusing lots on uh, kind of our obliques here. Minute two, so you get that done as fast as you can, that uh, hollow body circuit. And then minute two, you're gonna go eight 
burpees with a tuck jump or no tuck jump. Step or hop back to a plank. You can even go to your tummy. Step up, okay, and a little tuck jump. And of course, you don't have to do the tuck jump. You don't even have to do a burpee hop. You can simply step, hop back, okay, little jumping jack, arms above your head. All right, you're gonna go eight to 10 of those. All right, within the minute, and then you'll rest the remaining minute. All right, so first minute, we're starting with the hollow body circuit. Are we ready? Down to the ground, punches, leg raise with a twist, okay, and bicycles. And I'll walk us through that as we go here. Ready, starting with five hollow body punches per side. Three, two, one, and go. Leg raise with a twist. And then five bicycles per side. seconds, eight to 10 burpees, plus a tuck jump. Probably won't do the tuck jump because of my leg, but just thought I'd add in something spicy. Also don't want to hit my light bulb here. Two, one, eight to 10 burpees, let's go. with burpees. Two, one, let's go. Nice, 15 seconds. Back down to the ground, our hollow body circuit. Here we go, hollow body punches, twists, bicycles. Two, one, let's go.
making some weird faces for these ones. seconds. Yeah, burpees. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Beautiful, one more time. Here we go, 10 seconds. Last set of our hollow body circuit. Here we go, or you might be doing a V, v circuit. Two, one, let's go. set of burpees. Good work, y'all. Here we go. Eight to 12 burpees. You can add a tuck jump, push up. You can jump back to plank. You can jump back, put your tummy to the ground. Choose your adventure too. Well, let's go. count your reps. Side plank. Oh, I need plank. Okay. So, plank. So we want to go wide. You're going to bring that one hand to the kind of the center so you can keep your hips straight. Snow angel. All right. That's aggressive. Come down. Elbow. You can do the same thing. Or you can reach out. Reach behind, okay? Few options there. Um, you can always come up and put your hands on a bench as well. Okay, then diver push-ups. So here's, we go from a plank to the tummy, arch, squeeze your butt, squeeze your shoulder blades together, back down, press back up. You can also drop knees down, pulse, press up onto knees, Press up here. Here, knees down. All right, diver push-ups. Focusing on 
nice plank on the way down and the way up. And then we got back engagement, glute engagement on that little uh, Superman pulse. Okay, then sumo squats. We're gonna go toes out. Okay, a little wider stance. Driving your knees out, butt down. Okay, you can hold a weight for these as well. Um, so we got five per side, snow angels. 10 of the push-ups. You can scale that if you want to, if they're just taking you too long. Uh, you can do like five. Okay, 10 and then 20 of the sumo squats. All right, back nice and straight. You can hold weight in front. Okay, you can hold weight down here. Uh, I'll show you a few variations when we get started. Sound good? Excellent. All right, let's go. We're gonna do a quickie five minutes. I want you to go hard, okay? Here we go, 10 seconds. Snow angels to start, single arm, wide sense, two, one, and go. Five per side. Goal is to keep hips nice and straight and arms be nice and active. 10 diver push-ups. And then 20 sumo squats, counting towards our squat challenge. Again, hold the weight in front. Hold it down here, you can hold two weights. Twenty reps. Back with snow angels. You need to use your knees, core nice and tight, press back up into the plank. Always return to the plank. Two and a half minutes left. Here we go, we had just over a minute left.
One minute. Many as you got here, let's go. take a break through them because we're gonna go like three minute back to back so I'll probably be taking a break too all right so side plank okay we can bring our leg in front to shoot your hips up we're gonna row okay pretend you're pulling something if you can tie your bend to something ideally that'd be sweet all right so row we'll go why don't we go 20 seconds per side okay and then we're gonna do reach throughs so we can stay in this position, I'm gonna reach through, kind of pull, open up here. Reach through so you're twisting as much as you can and almost pretend you're pulling something through and up. All right, not laying like this, okay. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna flip over. I'm gonna go hip drops. All right, my core up through is gonna be doing these. So Jen, you might get to do it twice. All right, sound good. Just a, a long finisher, 10 seconds. Plank rows to start, five seconds. And you bring your foot in front, two, one, and hips up, let's go, row. Jen, you're pulling something. So you can use that foot in front to really help drive your hips up. You can stack your feet. You can even go on your hand. And other side, let's go. Right up. Ten seconds. And good, reach through the other side, back to it. Three, two, one, let's go. Scale version. Pretend you're pulling something through. Or you can stack your feet. Other side. Two, one, let's go. Fifteen seconds. A few more. 
and time. Nice. That's it, that's all. Play on your back. Whew. Yeah, you can just lay there. Put your arms up to the side. And the windshield wiper your knees back and forth. You can tell I'm in core theme, hey? Making lots of core, and I also hurt my leg, so there wasn't gonna be tons of leg today anyways. Hopefully Wednesday, we'll make it a booty day. All right, let's do a little spine twist. You can leg straight or you can grab your knee. Look in the opposite direction of your knee there. And let's try the other side. That feels so delightful. You're driving your knees out to the side. It's great for your, your hips and your low back. If you're ever getting low back pain. Love doing this kind of before I go to bed, to be honest. Weird one, but feels feels bright. Alright. Hope you liked it. Enjoy your Monday.